Hey guys, this is Postbox Pat, and welcome back to a new video on Air Mac Arena. Now, you guys are probably thinking, what's this game? Yeah, Air Mac Arena, 7 plus, download it, it's free. <laughs> so, I'm going to be telling you guys how to win every single time on Air Mac Arena. Now, this is flawless for both me and Chaotic Legion, who's known as Sniper Pones to me, that's his old gamer tag. But, as you can see, all you need to do is one person, well, both of us use Jokers, that's that car there right on the screen now, you can see it right there. And then one person needs to play as the Paladin, which is this guy, the one here that I'm playing as, the Paladin. Doesn't have to be the Gothic one, it can be the normal one. And the other person can play as anything, he can also play as a Paladin. Make sure you set your abilities, whatever you've got. I recommend using Titanium Shield as I'm putting that on now. That's probably the best from my point of view. It doesn't matter about any of these either, these don't affect anything either. So we are ready to go, and me and Sniper Pones are going to show you how to win every single time. So ready up Sniper Pones, and we will be ready to smash them. This is how you win every single time on Air Mech Arena. So are you ready guys? Watch this from me and Sniper Pones. I'll build the money makers, and Sniper Pones builds as many jokers as possible. So here we go. Go Sniper Pones, get ready, get ready. Here we go, here we go. Right, here. Oh, these people seem to know what they're doing. So this may be a difficult game, but our tactic may work. So I'm going to build as much as I can. Go Sniper Pones, build the Jokers, build the Jokers, build the Jokers. They've got no Paladin, so whatever we try, we should be able to take them out. Now, usually it's under 10 minutes, this, but because they have a good team, I may have to edit this video later on, depending on who they are. Because usually most people on this game aren't pros, and you can tell they're pros because they've both got the boosts. Whereas Sniper Pones, the only person on the boost, look at the top uh, left hand screen and top right. So a little tip as well, you can also just build one unit and keep clicking Y. You just hold RB. See, I'm doing that now. I'm not even going onto the D-pad or anything. You just click one on that and just consistently keep clicking Y. So that tells you. And they only take up one unit, these, because it says the one thing. Oh, they're scouting us. That's just the scouting part. He said he might realise what we're doing. I'll go and scout them and see what they're doing with Sniper Pones. But whoever's playing as the Paladin has to upgrade Hammer Throw and Offense a Raw, or you will lose. So I recommend doing that. Uh, they are all oh they're sh they're setting up bear traps which is clever that because that can oh they've got lots of snipers they built loads of snipers they could be trying the same tactic as us sniper pones but with snipers but because our units are better I just died there because I was just scouting but it's all right I can respawn back in because our jokers are faster and can push much easier we will guaranteed to kill their snipers they are so much better jokers. <laughs> yeah, they just these jokers just actually just split up everywhere. They don't stay in one area like the snipers do. You can can't really control the snipers either. Whereas these jokers are just gonna absolutely batter them and push. So they're bear traps, which we may need to handle the bear traps, but sniper pones is the dropper, so he'll pick up our little men and drop them in the base. I'll take this base right here. We're kinda low on units, we need to take this base. So once we've taken this one, we'll build more. Go on troops, get in there. Go on lads, run in. Right, don't push yet. No, we. I've got troops going into the base, so as soon as they're gone in, we can build more. Uh, so what you do, guys? Yeah, build, build. So what you do is you hold B. If you hold B, you can select all the units like this and click up on the D pad. That's how you send them all in at once. So I click B to cancel. There we go. And then just put them all in. Click B to place them down separately. Just keep building jokers. You can do it with any other unit, and you can do it in one v one, two v two, or three v three. With friends, you can try it in 3v3 on your own, but it doesn't usually work. But if you're working with a pair, it usually works. But I recommend doing it with all three of you, because you all know what to do then. We lost the base again. Yeah. Do you reckon? Okay, so Sniper Pones is suggesting for us to push, so I suppose we can try it. So yeah, Sniper Pones is on the move with the troops. He just did all the B ability. They're going to push right in through all their snipers. Take out their sorcerer. He's putting down artillery take that out easy gone <laughs> see that guys we're gonna take this base we got that base we're gonna push along they've got all their snipers here this is when the hammer throw comes in handy I need to upgrade the offense because I haven't upgraded it yet I didn't have enough money just keep throwing the hammer throw on all these turrets here they're gonna wipe them up yeah the hammer throw is just absolutely tearing the turrets apart as you can see and I'm tearing them apart watch out for my health though I need to pull back sniper pones will back me up here drop some troops in if you can sniper pones and then <laughs> Our troops are pulling back. I'm gonna pull back just to get my grab my ore fence, build some more things. Nicely done. Right, as you can see, our units have all pushed in. They're all pushing in. We dominated this base. We dominated every single base. 
Every base on the map is ours now. The alien ship and them are probably the worst two to counter this attack. Apart from the alien ship, does get a good zappy laser. But as you can see, they've got an osprey who's healing the alien. So to handle that, we have to try and take out the osprey behind the alien. But that's not too hard to do. We just need to get troops in. Come on, troopies, where are you guys? Right, we got the center base. So what we do is we build up again. Because you can't always win on the first attack if the players are actually quite good. But we can try win on the second push. Just make sure they don't take this. Right, they've taken this base, so we're in a little bit of trouble around here. But it's alright, they haven't got many. So all we gotta do is just build loads more of these and we'll push again. I'll go and destroy their box behind their base. You keep building them on the center base. I'm guaranteed to have a box behind the base. Where's their box? There's their box. I'm gonna smash their box. I recommend trying to find their box and destroy it because destroying their box will stop them from building better troops. So that's why I've done that. They may resign after that because it cost 18,000 to build another box. I know near enough all the hiding spots. You can do it on any map. I recommend doing it on simple because it's the simplest map once you get used to it. And it's probably the most played map, so I recommend doing it on that. <gasps> They're taking our base with the alien ship. Defend offense. Yes, go on. Look at that. Up. Nice, 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 nice. Right, I'm going to drop in defend. Losing a little bit up here. Okay, I defended that base quite well. Right, I built up a little army at the front base. Uh, I'll set a base just to hold them up. But Sniper Pones is building a massive army, so I'm going to pull, I'm going to defend here while Sniper Pones builds a massive army at our main base, and he'll send them all in, and we'll dominate. So they've got a Goliath. To take out Goliaths, I recommend just keep moving backwards and forwards. Backwards and forwards. So then the cannon can't shoot at you. Then the alien ship, you can do exactly the same. Keep moving around it. They can't do anything about it with their turret. Take out the Goliath. He's trying to shoot at me. Shoot at the front of it. Right, we're going to lose our top right hand base, but we can't do much about that, so I'm going to pull out of there. Maybe do some damage to the Goliath with these troops. Drop them in, maybe. Yeah, I'm going to drop them in just to destroy the Goliath. Osprey, he's dealing with some damage, so that's a little danger. But their Goliath is pretty OP, so we're going to just try and destroy that as quick as we can. Yeah, they're doing quite good, guys, but we can easily push these guys out in a minute. Let me find where they hit their box again, because they're guaranteed to be built at it. They know I'm going for their box. I've found their box, guys. I'm going to destroy it. I'm destroying their box. Destroying their box. <gasps> oh, he's picked it up. The Osprey's picked it up. Clever. So we'll wait for him to place it down. He knows I'm going for his box. They must be saving up for something. They're pushing on our center base. So, Sniper Pones. Yeah, they're probably going for a Devastator. But Devastator, you can take them out quite easily. I'll just drop them there. I'm going to find where he's put the box. Oh, he's put the box there. I'm going to try and take out his box. Go on, go on, go on, go on. Oh, he's picking it up, so his box is going to be really hard to take out. But they know I'm going for their box, so we'll just give it a little bit of time. How's the army building up at the front base? Because we're losing our centre one. Is it building up well? Yeah, no. So this is how you win, guys, uh, every single time. You've just got to wait for your army to build up. If you've got good players like we have right now, you've just got to keep building the jokers and wait for them to build up. Now, I'm going to take these... <laughs> yeah, just keep your outpost defended. You don't want to lose the main ones. Try to keep the center one like I'm doing. Uh, it's quite hard to do when they've got an Osprey. He's a really good heal unit. But if I go and push in now and try and get their box and cancel their whatever they're building, that'll really help us out. There it is, their box. Is that their box? No, it's not their box. That's a leveler. We're going to try and find their box. Where's their box? Where's their box? It's going to be placed around somewhere. You just got to keep hunting for it, guys. Oh, I died, yeah. Right, keep building. Keep building sniper pones. How's the army going? Like you see, guys, look at that army. <laughs> it's crazy. Just keep building. We don't want. To, we're going to lose our capacity in a minute because they're going to take our center base. I'm building. Click Y. Click Y. Click Y. Yes, I got a full army being built there. So watch this, guys. This should, this should push them out now, and we should be guaranteed to win off this one. And now, if it doesn't, we have to build again and again. And basically just keep building jokers and keep finding their box. <laughs> we have a full army. Whoa, mine's gone over the capacity. Sniper Pones has holded the beat and sent them all in. I'm going to open the depot to send these ones in. I'm going to go in behind. Yeah, this basically server lag now. It's absolutely insane the lag this creates. UFOs moving in. I think we might have mowed him down, did we? Alright, yeah, we've crushed them. They've got two Goliaths on the bridge with Ratchets. I can use our OP ability to push them back with my... Yeah, let's keep mowing that down. I'm going to use my hammer throw on it. They're using electric things to slow us down. That is clever. They are really good. These guys know what they're doing, but we have pushed them out so much. 
They probably don't know what's hit them. He's fleeing, he's fleeing. He's got no base. We killed him. We got him. Hit their main base. Go on, hit their main base with me. Take out their... Oh, they've put mortars. They're going to mow us down. Take out their mortars, no burns. There's some mortars around the sides of their bases. Yeah, they're more... Just watch out for people who try and defend this. you got to look out for the stuff they might use for their defense. Right, just keep pushing. Is the mortar not dead yet? Oh, nice. The Osprey's trying to push us up here. I'll keep spraying at him. Alright, keep building the units. And keep building them, and building them, and building them. You just gotta keep doing this, guys. Keep clicking Y and that. And we should win. Me and Snipe Bones are new to the game as well, so we are really new to it. We only got it like a couple of days ago. And we have already. This is one of my strategies I discovered online with. I played with a team of three, and we came up with the idea of rushing. And this is it. This is kind of like the rushing strategy and how to win as fast as possible. Now, I've won in under six minutes before. I've still got that video if you want me to upload that to prove it. I'll keep it on my computer for two weeks, depending on how big this video goes. If you want to see that, in under six minutes, we won. This one's been going on for eight minutes, and I think we're about to win. So, we're about to push them out so much. They've got basically no defenses left. We're dominating. So, I died there, but because I've got so much cash, I can just click X and respawn. Cancel that. Build some more now. Yeah, push the Majestus. So the whole B, you can do You can do the whole B. So I hold B on all these. See that whole B thing? Pushes them in and then go in. Click, click and Y to build them and that. You keep building them and we're about to win any minute now. Just keep pushing the Majestus. Make sure they don't take our base because we are dominating. And domination will win the game. That one's trying to push up to get a different base. Just take him out. Make sure he doesn't get any further. Yeah, there we go. We've, oh, they've reset the timer, yeah. So I'm going to pound their base from the back. I'm going to make sure my units... Actually, I'm going to give them damage boost. So we've got X now. They've got... See the little spikes going around them? That's damage boost. And then we've just... Bam, and look at their health. Look at their health go down, guys. Apart from they're standing in the way now, but I'm taking all the damage because I'm Paladin. And then he's got a shield. We are about to pound them. I'm going to about to die. Pull back. <laughs> no, no. Here we go. We're about to win. Yes, we won. And kill them at the end to get XP. And I hope you guys have enjoyed the quickest, well, well not the quickest this one, but a quick rush on Air Macarena. Thank you for staying by for the whole 12 minutes of the video. And please leave a like and subscribe. And if you guys are using this tactic, comment below because I want to know how many of you people are actually using it. And me and Snipe Pones will be bringing out a new video hopefully soon on how to earn as many diamonds as possible in Air Macarena. Because I know a little tip that you guys can use in your games on how to earn as many diamonds as possible in Air Macarena. So I'll earn about, look how much stuff I earn now. I've earned 195 kudos for doing it and 206 experience. Depending on if you're gold VIP or not, you'll earn more. But I bought silver VIP. I recommend doing that because that's probably the cheapest thing. It's only £4 and Sniper Pones bought the maximum one so we could get a little start head start on the uh, XP thing. But I recommend doing the silver, but you don't have to do the silver yet. You can buy it later on in the future to do the glitch not really a glitch it's kind of a exploit slash glitchy thing it's just you a little thing i'll tell you guys in a future video if you want to see that video it'll be in the description and i hope you guys have enjoyed please leave a like and subscribe and once again this is postbox pat signing out